Here comes Lila Draper from Little Tin Magnet approaching the water hazard over the ring bars. Not today, buddy. I've got this. Push through. This announcing assignment is horrible. I'm gonna fail. Why does our public speaking class have to be graded on how we speak in public? And Lila's over the pond. No shark snacks this round, right, Shawnee? Uh, Shawnee? Uh... Honor rolls on the line. You know what? Just say whatever comes to you. I am Shawnee Smith. Uh... Ooh. Two minutes, 31 seconds. Excellent time for Lila. Wouldn't you agree, Shawnee? Yes! I think two minutes and 31 seconds is equal to 151 seconds, which is a prime number. So that is an excellent time. Uh. That was amazing! <laughs> and so much fun! You should have entered too. Me? Ah, too much of the muscly, strengthy stuff. You could do it, Polly. It's just a matter of putting your mind to it, and then the body can do amazing things. Maybe next year, or the year after. Whoa! Feeding frenzy! Carl is down for the count, folks. Yes! That kid is Selacomorpha food! That's the scientific name for shark. That means our final round will be between Lila Draper, Bodie Brahmin, and Bella Bogowski! The winner will be crowned the Great Gauntlet Champion. Contestants, get prepped and pumped for the finals! Charge! Oh, look. Little Miss Fashion Pants made it to the finals. Pure luck. You should just drop out now, head to the mall, and leave the gauntlet to the real athletes. Oh, ugh. Yeah, Bella's gonna turn you into a fashion sandwich. Two pieces of bread, mustard, pickles, and fashion pants as a bologna in the middle. Right, Bella? I told you to call me Big! Sounds way more intimidating! Totally! Big! Hey! Lila isn't a fashion pants. I mean, she does have fashionable pants, but she's also strong. Less fashion pants, more athlete's foot! <sighs> Polly, that's not... Oh, never mind. Look, I just want to have fun and prove to myself I can compete. Of course, it would be nice to win. <laughs> <laughs> Big dreams for a little mall rat. The only thing I've seen you win is a spot in the fashion show. Let's go, Cheryl. A big out! I am sick of this. I'll make them see I'm more than just a highly fashionable style goddess. You already had an amazing first round. No one will remember that. Now I have to win. I need to get some reps in. Can we? We can. Tiny power! Our first finalist, Bodie, is on a total tear. Bodie enjoys soccer, parkour, and Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> Not sure he likes astronomy, though, because that ball was literally out of this world. Uh, Shawnee? Yeah, yes, it was, Nick. Earth to Bodie, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Shawnee. 298, 299. Can I get a spot, Polly? Come on. Almost there. And 300! Yeah! Oops. Is it... <sighs> Broken? Yes. Yes, it is. Looks like the gears got smushed. I am so sorry. But maybe we can still go big! Huh? Tiny power! Oh, big! <laughs> Bananas. I think I can fix it when I get home with the right tools. But the gauntlet is now! Polly, please help! Okay, when in doubt, tape! Doesn't look great, but I think it'll do the trick. Let's get out of here so we can go big! Tiny power! Go big! Ugh. Well, the good news is I think the shrinking and growing has finally stabilized. The bad news is my body is the size of a dill pickle! Oh, my round is...
is starting any minute. I guess I'll have to forfeit and be fashion pants forever. I'm sorry, Lila. I wish there was some way I could fix it for you. Wait, maybe there is. We could do it together. By it, you mean 3D print new gears for the locket so we can return to our normal human size, right? No, the Great Gauntlet. We can combine our disproportionate bodies and do the gauntlet together. There's no way I can do any of that stuff with this shrunken head odd bod combo. You're stronger than you think. I've seen you zip line through Cosmopolitan City and defeat a Kerpalbot. Plus, it's all about the mind and the body. I'll be the mind, you be the body. Together, we'll prove I'm more than just a girl with a sophisticated yet playful sense of fashion. So, how exactly would we do this? <laughs> just channel the turtle part of the turtleneck. Slow and steady wins the race. What? You'll have to speak louder! Hard to hear under thick wool! Whoa! Sorry. Ooh, that was forceful! And as we all know, Nick, force is equal to mass times acceleration. Shawnee! Come quick! I need a break, uh, but keep up the great announcer work, partner! Lila, you feeling okay? Not exactly. I kind of have a pocket size problem. <gasps> I'll assume there's a perfectly logical reason for this by Polly's incredibly perplexed expression and great size cranium. Next up is our top qualifier, Bella Bigowski, followed by Lila Draper. Uh, good luck. Thanks, Shawnee. Let's go, Polly. The course is this way. No, the other, this way. Fashion pants, beat that. And even two minutes for Bogowski, putting her in first. <laughs> wow, that's just wow. And now our final, finalist, Lila is at the starting line. Two minutes, that's basically supernatural. Okay, Polly, remember, it's mind and body working as one. Copy that. Oh, off to a wobbly, bobbly start, but hopefully she'll straighten out. Of course she will, Nick. Less critical, please. Your head's too heavy. Your legs are too jelly. <laughs> what are you doing up there? What are you doing down there? Trying to walk on these bouncy balls is not the easiest. Can you try a little harder? <laughs> okay, we made it. Barely. Keep your balance here. Watch out for the dodgeballs. Dodge what? <laughs> <laughs> Shark Kid is eating pizza! Very soggy pizza. <laughs> Shawty, Lala's head just fell off. You're exhausted, aren't you? And I care way more about how you feel than what some meanies think of me. You're not having fun, so let's just quit. What? Absolutely not. Sure, I'm used to doing things with a best friend having my back, not on my back, but we're finishing this course together. Mind and body, right? Now, get your tiny body on my big shoulders and let's do this! Let's go! So fierce, Polly! Now, up the dragon's neck! One more section! You've got this! I don't think I got this, Lila! No, we've got this! Let me help! Incredible flexibility, Nick. But is she part giraffe? <laughs> Whoa, uh, Lila, you are so strong. Way stronger than Bella Bogowski. Doesn't matter who else I'm stronger than. I've been training hard and I'm stronger than I've ever been before. Uh. Woohoo! They finished! I, I mean, she finished! Yeah! Not the fastest time, Shawnee. In fact, the slowest time. By a lot. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, she doesn't even care that she lost. That's actually pretty cool. Sorry I let my competitiveness with Bella get the best of me. 
guess I forgot about just having fun. But it was fun! I can't believe my body could even do half of that stuff under these weird circumstances. But my mind stepped up big time to help me out. Okay, the gears are fixed. Let's try this! And Polly takes Lila's pocket-sized hand. Can they go back to normal? Go, oh, um, regular! Yeah. It's a grow! Polly and Lila for the win! You know, I think I'm really good at this announcer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lady such as yourself isn't the problem, but what is? There has to be a scientific explanation. Hmm. What could it be? Hi, Polly! Oh, hey, hi! Uh, yes, I see you. I said, hi, Polly! Oh, Polly needs help! What is it? Paxton's in trouble? No. Pierce fell down the well? Uh, why? Shoo! Oh, a fly! That is exciting! Two wings, six legs, six thousand armatidia on two compound eyes. Does nothing gross you out? Not really. How is this getting rid of it, Shawnee? Huh. A small brown spot on the left wing. Eh, you don't have to be worried about getting rid of it. That is a Littleton fly. That means... A Littleton fly's lifespan is one day. One day? That fly will be gone by sundown. Now, I should get back to my garden. The flowers need something, but I don't know what. No, Shawnee. It chose to spend its whole wee little fly life with me. When I got this locket, I swore to use it to help those around me, make the world better, improve lives. Now, I can't improve everyone's lives, but I can make one fly's entire life tiny terrific! Tiny power! Hi, um, Shawnee, what should we call him? <laughs> I think she's a she. Sheila? Let's go, Sheila. I'm gonna make sure you have a tiny rific life. I mean, it's just one day out of our many, many, many days, but for you, it's a whole lifetime. Polly, don't waste the little time she has dwelling on her mortality. Most tiny rific life ever, starting now. <laughs> Citrus clarifying mask smells so good you could eat it. <laughs> but Sheila, we haven't gotten to the hot stone massage. Why would she leave? I would love to spend a day at the spa. <laughs> Preliminary data suggests that flies don't like the same stuff as humans. Hmm. Ew! Get away from that disgusting broccoli and algae protein shake that Lila left here last week! Don't you get it, Polly? Flies love gross stuff! Ah, mm. uh, really? Yep, the grosser the better. If you want to make Sheila's life tiny rific, just lead her to Paxson's diaper pail and I can get back to my garden and... No diapers. I have a better idea. <laughs> Why do my parents keep trash on the counter? It's not trash, it's compost. Fly! I heard a fly! Oh no! Dad! <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. I mean, live to your full lifespan, which is only gonna be... Polly! Flies. I hate flies. Polly? Dad, uh, I'm upstairs and there's a fly up here. I'm coming, Polly, Polly! If it's gross you want, 
It's gross I will provide. What's beyond this door is not for the faint of heart. I give you Pierce's room. Still not grossed out? Nope, it's not so bad. Just a turkey sandwich. We haven't had turkey since Thanksgiving. Ooh, I've been wanting to do some experiments with mold. Maybe I'll be the next Alexander Fleming. And for those strange people among us who don't study mold in their spare time, that means... Come on, Polly. Even strange people know that Alexander Fleming discovered the antibacterial properties of some mold and... Jasmine's gonna be there? Well, this dude better get ready. <gasps> no, please don't do it. I can't look. I wish I couldn't smell. If you think her big brother's mess is good, just wait till you see what Polly's little brother can do. Shawnee, I told you, that's where I draw the line. No! And girls love backwoodsman spray. I prefer the smell of the socks. <coughs> That's probably enough. Yeah, who am I kidding? You can never have enough backwoodsman spray. Well, that was something, eh, gals? What do you say we go grab a snack and spend the rest of Sheila's life? Him! <coughs> I mean the rest of the day in my room. Why? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, you resisted the... The old ravioli and the chunky cheese. But can you deny... The last slice of bread? That's not even really gross. <laughs> the last slice of bread where it's all brown and crusty? Ew! Get Sheila! I'll distract Dad! No! Hi, Dad! Polly, how did... where did... uh... Thanks for the call about the fly. Let me know if you see it buzzing around again. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, bye, Dad! I told myself I wouldn't cry. Shawnee, a song, please. Ahem. Amazing fly, how sweet the buzz. Ooh. Maybe something a little lighter? We don't want you-know-who to know you-know-what and is about to you-know-die. Okay, jaunty. I can do jaunty. <laughs> I'm Sheila the Fly, and I can't deny that Shawnee and Polly don't want to say bye. Whoa! Enough jitterbugging. I'll say a few words. Sheila, I am so glad I got to make your life tiny-rific, even though it was a pretty gross day for me. It's... it's over. And now your watch has ended. When we met, I never thought I could come to care so much for a fly. But now, there will always be a compost can in my heart with your name on it. I guess you could say, we both had a big day. Sheila? You're alive? Where are you going? Um, you know how I said Sheila was a Littleton fly because she had a brown spot on her wing? Well, turns out that spot was on my magnifying glass. Must have gotten it dirty in my garden this morning. So, Sheila's just a regular fly who lives a regular fly amount of time? Yep, like five days. Well, back to my garden. Huh? Wow, I did such a good job making Sheila's day great that she brought all her friends. All her... Ah!
Oh dear. Oh! Every pocket for themselves! Polly, what should we do? It's time. Operation Dirty Diaper starts now. Conclusive evidence. The Mod Quad can't operate with compost in its engine. Huh. My plants just needed nitrogen rich compost. Thanks, Polly. You really make every day of my life tiny rific. What? Whose wife is horrific? I think I got compost in my ear. In today's episode of Bonita Break 5000, three girls face the universe's fiercest guard. Bonita the Bunny! To make this prison break, they have to be smart. Based on my calculations, the best sounds for maximum bunny moving potential are. A booga booga booga! A booga booga booga! And strong! <laughs> Almost have the costumes! It's going to take super spy disguises! Orange is totally your color, Polly. Oh! I'll save you with my distract array. Better hurry before I bunny food! And superior technology. To get past this bunny and win Bonita Break 5000, the funnest, fastest game show in... Is it her? Even her knock sounds cool. Polly, we need to use the locket. Right. Go big! Hey, CJ. What's up? It's her. Hey! My special baby girls! Oh, aren't you just so cute in your little dress-up outfit? Hey, CJ! Cool outfit, cool hair, cool existence. Not to be awkward, CJ, but my mom should have told you that you only need to babysit Coco and Vera. We're too old for a babysitter. Really? Because by the looks of the cutesy carrot costumes and the baby toys you're holding, sure looks like you could all still use a babysitter. Baby toy? What baby toy? <laughs> I love that you little ones are so easily amused by simple things. Oh, our game is super fun. So what if it has some baby stuff? It's not baby. It's very mature. Just like teenage games. We don't play games. We do mature things, like hanging out at Caviar Club in the mall for caviar hour and eating caviar. In fact, when I'm done babysitting, I am heading straight to the mall to do just that. But you kiddos have fun with the baby stuff. Is caviar mature? Is dress up babyish? What? No! We were adult carrots, the opposite of baby carrots. So let's get back to Bonita Break 5000. Hmm, I think we just outgrew it. What? We're not easily amused by simple things anymore, Shawnee. We're mature and cool and don't need a babysitter. And we're gonna prove it by going to Cavi Hour! Hmm, we're here and Caviar Club is all the way over there. According to this, Cavi Hour ends at four and it is exactly 3.31, so we better hurry. Time to go eat a caviar. Or is it caviars? You know what caviar is, right? Caviar is cones! No, caviar is not cones. Not that. The entire path is blocked off for construction. We'll have to find another way in. I got it. Here's what we do. Go around the hot dog habitat kiosk, past the movie theater and Thrillabaloo's escape shop to the Skaga Plaza. Caviar Club is just on the other side. <laughs> Not so fast. Everybody goes gaga for the gaga plaza, but we only go gaga for players under this height. <laughs> oh, 
we don't want to play. We just want to get to Caviar Club. Uh, no can, Gaga. Uh, with them all being under construction, the quickest way to Caviar Club will be to go down to the East Hall, take the escalator down to the third floor, be a right, take the elevator down to the basement, exit the parking structure, catch a shuttle, and enter from the other side of the mall. Okay? Well, have a Gaga great day, you extra big babies! If we go that route, we'll never make Caviar in time. I have a tiny idea. Get around the train, through the bouncy castle, and past the ball pit. Time to get that caviar. Ah! Oh, those are some big babies. If we can get past Bonita, we can get past anyone. But we did that with baby game stuff. We have to do this the mature way. There's nothing babyish about sneaking, right? Nothing, especially not if you sneak like a grown-up kerpow ninja. Big baby! of this particular baby, the exact volume and cadence of my silly sound will be... <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Babies are so easily amused by simple things. How babyish! Come on! to describe that experience is awesome. We should have the double bounce to our next round of Bedina Break Fight. I mean, <clears throat> here we come, caviar. You do know what caviar is, right? Caviar is... Diaper! Diaper? No, caviar is definitely not a diaper. No, that diaper! Look out! Ah! Ah! Quick, all we have to do is make our way across to the exit, and then we can... Ah! Wow, I guess that works too. <laughs> oh, good, good job. <laughs> yeah. hmm. If she thinks we're dolls, she'll launch us closer to the exit. Sky's time. Come on, let's get dolled up. But dressing like a baby is the babiest thing we could do. Ugh. Are you sure? <laughs> We're gonna make it! We didn't make it. what we're trying not to do. But babies don't eat other babies. It's basic evolutionary science. Hungry! Listen, baby. Wah, wah. Uh, you don't want to eat a baby like yourself. Nah. Hungry! Goku, Gaga! Look, baby! We're the same! I'm a baby, too! I will not act like a baby. Acting like a baby is literally the babyest thing of... Excuse me, kind sir, but can we discuss this like adults? Do something, Polly! Use your distractor ray! Ah! I would, but I can't! I threw it away because I didn't want to be a baby! Help! <gasps> CJ was right about one thing! Babies are easily amused by simple things like jingle balls! Good thinking, Shawnee! we get our caviar on. Go big! <laughs> Welcome.
Welcome to Caviar, ladies. Correct. We are mature ladies, and we'll take three caviars, please. Uh... Lila? What are you little girls doing here? Just hanging out and eating caviar. Mmm, I just love its texture. It's like... Wet sand. Uh, that's probably because it came from the 10th century aristocrats of the Byzantine Empire, and that tasty texture is how you know it was harvested. <laughs> Does no one here know what they're eating? Caviar is fish eggs! Ew. <laughs> 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 ew, 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 ew. <laughs> oh, I am big enough to admit that. That is not what I thought it was. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Mmm, it's not that bad. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting around and eating fish eggs? Not fun. <laughs> but do you know what is? Three girls will take on their most dangerous adventure yet. Babies! <laughs> Gaga over here, you little monsters! We're on an undercover space pirate mission! <laughs> Distract Ray! Strap in and get ready to have the most fun of your baby life! Why do you keep doing that, boys? <laughs> <laughs>